I got my sweats on. I am ready for a no makeup makeup day. Aren't you? Okay. Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to Cat's Eye. I am 52 years old and I love makeup and skincare. And today we're finally going to be testing out ColourPop's new Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Yay! I know I've been promising you this review on this tinted moisturizer that actually contains hyaluronic acid um, and coconut water, but I really wanted to give it a thorough review. So I have been testing it out for the last two weeks. I wanted to make sure I formed a really good opinion on this just to help you guys out. Have normal to dry skin. As you can see, I have hyperpigmentation, I have fine lines, redness, and you know, We'll see how this works. And so if you're interested, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to click that little notification bell so you know when I upload. Okay, no glamour day, but glamour day. Um, I'm not going to the ballet. I'm not going to go teach. This is going to be my everyday look where if I need to go to the grocery store or just, you know, out and about to run errands. So tinted moisturizer, what are your thoughts on it? I have tried several kinds. Pixie comes to mind, this one as well. Remember, it does not provide full coverage. It is just something to actually enhance your skin. In fact, on the ColourPop website, it actually got five stars out of five stars. It comes in 24 shades. Now the shade range is not that great, as you can see, but you have to remember with a tinted moisturizer, the tone and shade is a little more forgiving because it's not providing full coverage. It retails for $14. You get 1.45 fluid ounces. Like I said, it contains hyaluronic acid, which maintains the moisture in your face and also contains coconut water. So if you are allergic to coconut water, beware. You've been warned. Now, I've already prepped my skin with, of course, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Um, not one of my favorites, but you know what? When in Rome, we're gonna test them all out together. And a lot of people have been saying, why are they coming out with this now? Why didn't they come out with this in the springtime and summer where people are more prone to wear more sheer makeup? Um, I don't think it was a bad idea to come out when it's uh, getting cooler and colder weather because this actually will provide more moisture for your face with the hyaluronic acid and the ingredients that are in this. So I say, hey, just go with it. But let's go ahead and test her out. And today we're just going to go for a supernatural look. Not like supernatural, like, yeah, but your everyday look. So here's the consistency. It's a little bit runny. And yes, it does smell like coconuts because there is coconut water in there, but we're just gonna go right in. And typically the way I've been playing around with this is actually applying it like an actual moisturizer. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and dab it on. And I'm actually just gonna blend it in like so. And the shade that I'm actually using is Light 8N. It's very liquidy and it seems to be playing really well with the primer. So as you can see, it's just very light. It feels very hydrating. It really does. And it feels typically like your normal moisturizer, just with a tint healthy my skin looks what now as you can see even though I used my fingertips there are no streaks which is amazing because usually if you do that with a typical foundation you're gonna wind up with streaks I don't even think I want to tap it in with a beauty sponge because it actually looks really nice what do you think and like I said it is a tinted moisturizer so it's not gonna provide full coverage and it will show some of your flaws but hey flaws are great so look how beautiful that looks it looks very glossy very healthy very hydrating but yeah and typically when I use this uh, tinted moisturizer I don't go in with concealer I know doesn't that sound crazy maybe I will today let's uh when in Rome I'm gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop under eye concealer and I'm just gonna tap a little bit on just to cover up the dark circles under my eyes. Just a little 
seriously, a little dab will do you. And I'm not gonna go balls out, like doing my nose and everywhere else. I just wanna tap this in. Now I look like a raccoon. In this case, I'm gonna take the beauty blender that I got with the Pretty Fresh Prime Kit and just tap it out. Actually, I'll use this side. See? Alrighty then. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna put on a little extra makeup and I'll be right back. Okay. Final look, everyone, what do you think? Now, for cheeks, I went in with Benetton's Lip and Cheek Stain. I just did a review on this product as well as the foundation, but I have been loving this as a cheek stain. And today, I decided to use it as a lip stain again, and this time, I put clear gloss on top of it. I think it looks really pretty. And for eyes, I went in with ColourPop's Pretty Please palette and just used two shadows out of this palette. I think this palette is so underrated. It's got so many beautiful fall colors and I just went in with this shade as well as this shade on the outside. Now to line my eyes I went in with Believe Beauty's eyeshadow palette, the Disco, the Golden Disco Quad. I don't know why I love this palette so much. I got it from the Dollar General and this coppery metallic shade I just used on top of my lids as well as to line out my lower lash line. Now for mascara I actually used the Dollar General lengthening mascara. Look at this mascara. It looks so high end. Would you believe it was $4.50? And it's actually a great formula. I've been enjoying this as well. So what do you think guys? Are you thinking about picking up the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer? Now remember it does come in 24 shades. You get 1.45 ounces. Um, I thought this looks great on my skin tone and I thought, you know, it wouldn't work, but it looks great and see it's not full coverage but it's so dewy fresh and so comfortable and this is the perfect foundation slash tinted moisturizer you can just throw on super quickly and dash out the door and feel like it's your skin but better so yeah leave a comment down below if you're thinking about trying this tinted moisturizer out what is your favorite color pop item i am dying to know they have so many great products and they are coming out with products left and right so yeah leave a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite so i hope you enjoyed this review of pretty fresh's tinted moisturizer now don't forget to click like and subscribe remember i upload every sunday and wednesday and don't forget to click on my little head right here in case you haven't subscribed yet or don't subscribe, ah! And in case you're interested, don't forget to check out these videos right here. And Mahalkita, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.